Alrighty, hello, welcome back to a deep rock galactic video y'all. Today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo hazard 5 mission with Scout here, taking the plasma carbine with the balanced overclock rewiring mod, and the Zukov nukies as the secondary with the unstable overclock gas recycling. Before we get into how I have the guns built, YouTube is recommending my content to you, or you just found my channel, like, hello. <laughs> I like the content I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow, and I'd like to have you guys along for the ride. Alright, so, like I said, I have the plasma carbine here. I built is I have faster projectile speed, more uh, total damage, uh, hot feet, m movement speed, uh, so when I overheat the gun, it gives me a short burst of momentum or uh, movement speed. Uh, I have electricity chance, and then I have manual heat dump in tier 5. Basically what uh, manual heat dump does is when I reach a certain point of uh, overheating the gun, I can just press the reload button and then it automatically overheats the gun, or it manually overheats the gun for me. And then for the overclock, like I said, I have a rewiring mod. Basically what this overclock does is every single time the, uh, after the cooldown happens on the gun uh, upon overheating, it returns a, a bit of ammo. So that's really nice. At the cost though, you have a slower overheat recovery and you have less ammo. But that's okay because we're gonna be getting some ammo back every single time we uh, overheat the gun. I believe it's around like 37 shots. I don't know, I'm not sure. I tried to do some research on it and I tried to do the math. <laughs> so uh, you can comment down below uh, if I'm wrong, which I probably am. <laughs> Hi, future me here where I actually did the research and the math for the uh, rewiring mod overclock. Essentially, with the overclock, without any gear modifications, it takes around 45 shots to overheat the gun. This intel will give you back 31 shots, meaning you only really used 14 shots for the entire duration of those 45 shots. With this in mind, you, in total, with the magazine size of 525, I can overheat the gun a total of 37 times, meaning uh, I gain 31 times 37, of the, those times I've overheated the gun, giving me a grand total of 1,147 extra ammo on top of the 525, giving me a total ammo of 1,672. Pretty cool. Now, here comes the monkey wrench with this, with the gear mod, manual heat dump. With manual heat dump, it takes around 18 shots to actually be able to trigger the manual heat dump yourself. When, when triggered with the rewiring mod, you'll gain back, you'll either gain back eight or nine because the ammo that gets used is around nine and a half shots. So either nine or 10, but just, just for best case scenario, I'm just going to say that it's going to be 10 shots since we're not, we're not always going to be perfect at hitting the 50 heat mark every single time. So with that in mind, you'll be gaining back eight shots every single time you overheat the gun. This means you can overheat the gun a total amount of times of 52 times. That means that if you get eight, ham eight ammo for those 52 times, you'll actually be getting 416 ammo back, giving you a grand total with the 525 ammo of 941 shots. Now, either my math is wrong or this is some major bull <laughs> and I only wish I had known back then when I was recording this uh, that I was actually losing out on a whole lot of ammo, but oh well, <laughs> I still had a really fun time using the rewiring mod and I'm not saying that it's a bad idea taking manual heat dump, but just for future reference, I'll be taking the other gear modification whenever I'm using this overclock. Anyways though, back to the video. Then for the secondaries, like I said, I have the new keys here. I have built is I have more total ammo, I have a faster reload speed, better accuracy, normal blow through rounds, and conductive bullets. Basically, this just get, allows me to get more damage on electrocuted targets. And then for the unstable overclock, I have gas recycling. Basically, what gas recycling does is it significantly boosts the damage and armor breaking on the guns. But at the cost, you have an increase in base spread, you have no weak point bonus damage, and you have a slower movement while firing the while shooting. So that's that's um. <laughs> it's a lot of downsides, but hey, you do a whole hell of a lot more damage, so that's pretty good. For the grenade today, I have the Voltanic Stun Sweeper. Uh, my flare guns built is in tier 1 and 3. I have a longer duration and I have more magazine size. 
With the grappling hook, I have both the reach in tier in tier one and two. I have the faster projectile speed in tier three, and I have momentum in tier four. Or revise and cry all revise and crowd cryo grenades. <laughs> Alrighty, and today, oh my god, double XP. Yeah, I kinda wanna do that. Kinda wanna do double XP. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, oh, there's a warden over there. <laughs> this is just gonna be me overheating the gun constantly today. <laughs> That's actually really interesting to see the ammo come back after uh, overheating constantly. It's kind of like um, the other one, that other overclock. But instead of doing damage when you overheat the gun, you just get ammo back for it. <laughs> Which, that's, that's, uh, I guess that's kind of interesting. I'm still gonna get Nitro though. I remember um, some people saying that this overclock, when it first came out, wasn't really working properly. Or that or it was just not worth it because the ammo you got back for it was just so like minute but I don't know they might have changed it around to be good now <laughs> Bosco is gonna go and get those I'm just gonna get the secondary <laughs> this can potentially be a fast mission if I just uh, do it properly I don't know who it was as well that was doing the math for it, but they said that you can get a potential um, 500 extra ammo for this. So that's that's interesting. If you just do it right, that is though. <laughs> okay, listen here, Warden. Listen here. Yeah. No more warden. Uh oh, that's a lot of bugs. Hey, buddies. Okay. <laughs> I think IFGs would have been better. I got the worst type of grunt swarm. There, it's all just slashers and guards. <laughs> hey, no. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I literally got the worst grunt swarm ever. I got all guards and slashers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you see this boy right here? Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. This this still doesn't even um come close to killing swarmers within one shot, which is so hilarious to me. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Spring bunny stopped. Yeah, this one. I think we just need two more. Whoops, <laughs> I actually just pickaxe canceled my grappling hook. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Give me! Ah, bugs! <laughs> nice! Alright. Yeah, I, just, I literally just sped around this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whee! There you go. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, rewiring mod is so good. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I never expected it to be this good. Yeah, you basically only lost 10, or I only lost 10. Oh, I basically almost only lost nine bullets there. That's, that's interesting. I basically have a whole lot extra am uh, ammo. Essentially, another 500, if you will, as someone was stating. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that money around. My question was, was does it still gain the ammo back 
when you overheat the gun. Yeah, it does. So you can just overheat it, put it away, and bring out your secondary while it continues. Thank you, Sploder. Go. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. What a really, really fun build, honestly. I was not expecting rewiring mod to be like this good and this much fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed using rewiring mod. This might actually be uh, another overclock I, I take with the carbine constantly. This was actually really, really good. And then for gas recycling on the new keys, it, it'll always be good uh, doing it for both electricity chance or electricity bonus damage or just using gas recycling in general. So <laughs> anyways, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate anyone who stuck around to the end. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like if you didn't subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Rockin' Stone, miners.